AITA for insisting my married friends pay as two people? I have two longtime friends who are married, who I often travel or go on adventures with. This often leads us to situations where we need to split the cost of something. Normally, four friends staying at an Airbnb would each chip in 25%. Or parking, for example, three people sharing parking would each chip in 33%. I think we can all agree on this. The problem I have is this couple considers themselves one person for the purposes of splitting the cost. So, let's say it was me and the two of them in an Airbnb they would say that they pay 50% and I pay 50%, rather than they pay 66% together, 33% for each of them. Now, I totally agree with this couple on the sanctity of marriage, two people becoming one flesh, etc. And yes, I understand finances become shared when people marry. But I don't understand why that means they basically have to pay less money when we split things. Not sure if this factors in but they also both work and don't have kids. It just seems disrespectful to their single friends, it's not the actual amount of money that matters, we're usually talking about $20 to $30 difference. It's just the principle. Yesterday. I put my foot down when my friend Venmo requested me 50% of a $120 parking fee, the car was parked for a few days, it was me, him and his wife in the car. I insisted I pay 33% instead, which my friend did not appreciate. Am I wrong for this?